The trouble with the modern world is that it doesn't incentivize men to stick around after impregnating someone. There is no longer a functional need for a strong father since the mother can do it all. Raise her children, provide for her family, be both the strong and the nurturing parent. But the absence of a father figure in a girl's life can lead to many internal wounds which don't manifest or present themselves until later in life. Abandonment issues, sexual trauma, feeling a need to present masculine, these are all the results of a possible father wound. Hurting your esteem and affecting your capacity to function in a healthy, flourishing way. Here are some signs that you may have a father wound. The first and biggest is that you have self-esteem issues or that you never feel good enough. The father's role is to validate and uplift his children, cementing their self-esteem and their view of themselves later in life. If a father does not fulfill his duties, it will lead to the child wondering why they're not good enough for him. The child places the blame on themselves as to why they feel their father does not love them. And this can lead to many issues later on in life. One of the resulting behaviors of this is issues with boundaries, either having too weak or too rigid boundaries. People will have issues with their boundaries when their self-esteem is affected because it provides a sense of security, either to people please or to keep all people out. Neither is healthy and both indicate issues with a father figure. Another sign that you may have a father wound is that you are incredibly self-critical. This again ties into the feeling of not being good enough. When you criticize yourself, it's usually because you hold yourself up to impossible standards in the hopes that it will make people love you or stay around in perhaps a way that your father might not have. Another important one for the development of your feminine energy is the feeling of not being comfortable or safe in your body. The father's role is to make his family feel protected and safe, and if he fails, this reflects back on his children as a feeling of inward insecurity and self-consciousness of the body. Women should feel the space and freedom to feel comfortable inside their bodies, allowing them to flow freely and enjoy their physical experience. But feelings of danger and insecurity hinder this. Another big one, funnily enough, in today's society is feelings of anger or rage towards men. I know this one personally because I used to feel it a lot. It's common now to feel anger towards men, claiming that they're sexist or pigs or all trash, but oftentimes this comes from a deep internal wound. Your father is supposed to model your relationships to other men. If he does not provide feelings of dependability and security, you will learn to outwardly project this onto other men. I guarantee you that not a single woman who screams, yes, all men, has a secure relationship with her father. The next sign that you may have a father wound is the feeling of needing to prove yourself constantly. If you feel a need to provide proof of your achievements or worth, be that through titles, medals, sporting achievements, etc., it may be a sign of you having a father wound. Some people react to parental trauma in a fawn response rather than fight or flight, and when presented with what they perceive to be a dangerous situation, they will try to gain the approval of, if not their parents, then the people around them. To many people with father wounds, social validation serves as a poor substitute, but a substitute nonetheless for parental validation, as it still leaves many unhealthy communication styles and modes of thinking. Another sign of father trauma is resistance to discipline or structure. Many times in our lives, we may feel a need to resist or rebel against authority unnecessarily or resist routine and structure in our lives. As both are signs that we did not have enough routine or structure early on in our lives, we may infer that the lack of a father figure, the person who is supposed to guide us with discipline and teach us how to retain structure and self-discipline, causes our skills in these things to suffer. Another sign of a father wound that I personally used to fall prey to is chasing the external representation of masculine energy. For many women, we feel a need to pursue the outward appearance of masculinity. Short hair, baggy clothes, hiding the things that make us feminine. From around age 11 to maybe 16 or 17, I was the same. I hated the things that made me feminine, so I tried to cover them up. This is because I had an unhealthy relationship with both my feminine and my masculine side. Given my bad relationship with my father, which thankfully since then has improved a lot, I didn't get the chance to feel safe and secure within myself throughout puberty. So I turned to masculinity as a way to protect myself. To me, presenting masculine was a way to feel safe, to hide myself, and this was all due to my father wound. The next, and to many perhaps the most important sign of a father wound, is pursuing emotionally unavailable romantic partners. This can manifest in many different ways. It can be pursuing people in relationships, 
pursuing people who identify as damaged and who you know will not be able to emotionally provide for you in a relationship or even feeling strongly towards celebrities or fictional characters romantically pursuing those who you rationally may know that they won't be there for you but who subconsciously you may think you might be able to change to make them love you etc is all a way of replaying the relationship you likely had with your father though your rational mind may struggle to accept this your romantic relationships in adult life are modeled on the relationship you had with your father early in life if your father was distant, difficult to please, or emotionally unavailable, this will mirror the people you pursue. The final sign that you may have a father wound is that you are terrified of abandonment. This too was me for a very, very long time. I was convinced that everyone I loved would someday leave me. Unable to accept that this is often a natural conclusion to many relationships and friendships. Wanting to force someone to stay or feeling insecure about their presence reflects your feelings of security with your father. Your relationship with the father figure in your life affects so many conscious and unconscious decisions and the opinions you may hold of yourself. Healing them is incredibly important and a long personal journey, at the end of which you will feel more yourself and hopefully safer and more secure than ever before. I hope this helped you. Okay, love you, bye.